Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline, one of our favorite rugby alumni at BYU, Utah Warriors Center and star. His name is Calvin Whiting. Calvin, great to have you back on the show after almost five years, man. Good to see you. Crazy. Good to be back. Hey, year four of Major League Rugby, and uh, you may have noticed that Jerem Jordan has been around the team. So before we get into the questions uh, about Major League Rugby, just I want you to assess Jerem Jordan as a broadcaster. How He talks about you as a player. How would you assess him as a broadcaster? Man, I've seen him. He's He's gotten so good, both of you guys. I mean, it's been so fun to watch the show over the years. Obviously, started watching it at BYU, but now just to carry on watching. It's just it's always good, something I look forward to every week. Oh, thanks, Kevin. You're super nice. I'll Venmo you later. Don't worry, man. Okay, so obviously things going really well for the Utah Warriors. Second place right now in a playoff position. The last three weeks, uh, the team has won in the final four minutes of the game. What's it like playing on a team that is the best team in program history and team history, but also you guys know how to win late? I know. It's, it's kind of crazy. Everyone calls us the cardiac kids, right? It's... Uh... We, we keep the entertainment going, which is not so good for us, but at least we pull those wins off. <laughs> um, as far as the experience goes, it's been awesome. I mean, we we're surrounded by a bunch of good guys who are willing to do whatever they can for the team to make sure we're successful. Um, as far as players, coaches, medical staff, no matter what it is, um, we're surrounded by people who just want to be involved and want to help progress this program. How would you explain the culture and atmosphere around the team right now? Because not every team can ramp it up in high pressure situations yet, as we just pointed out, the Warriors and you are doing it consistently. So explain the atmosphere, the culture, and how that is helping you win high pressure games. Yeah, it's a great question. I think the biggest thing, to be honest with you, is just the fact that it's been the same group from the beginning. Um, you've seen a lot of teams that have brought in guys from overseas, especially come, you know, late in the season. However, with us, it's been that same core group that has kind of just taken a load the whole season on, right? And so because of that, I think we've built this camaraderie that's allowed us to understand and the chemistry that we have now as a team as well, just to know exactly what we need to do. It's just week in, week out, just to get the job done. You know, put your head down once, one foot in front of the other and just keep going. You've been awesome this year. Team's leading tackler. And then all of a sudden, you know, Hagen Schulte, the uh, fly half and, and primary kicker kind of gets hurt. You start kicking. You go 18 and 19, man. You only miss one kick. How did you jump back into being a fly half suddenly and a kicker? Yeah, honestly, I mean, it's one of those skills you, you keep practicing, right? So, I mean, even though Hagen's still kicking, like behind the scenes, I, I'll still get a few kicks in here at practice here and there, that kind of thing. But um, honestly, I think I was talking to you about it last a few weeks ago. It's just kind of like riding a bike, though. I mean, I've been kicking a rugby ball since I was geez, 10 years old. And so it's just, you know, get back out there, stick to the rhythm. You know exactly how to do it. You just got to get it done. Calvin, have you ever considered trying out for the National Football League as a kicker? Honestly, it's, it's been one of those things that's on the back of my mind. I don't know how it would work as far as, like, scouts go, that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously, it's... It's the same concept, right, except for the fact that you're wearing pads and it's, you know, a different size ball. But I would assume the physics are the same. You know, you, you kick the ball, it goes over the pulse. It's, uh, I'm not too sure how that process works, but if you know anyone, let me know. Would you have been a better kicker at BYU or punter, rather, than Johnny Linham? <laughs> Jeez, whoa, 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 shots fired there. Come on, bro. Don't put me on the spot like that. <laughs> so, so is it yes or no? <laughs> Uh, man, that guy had an absolute cannon of a leg. I don't know if I, because we would, we would always mess around at rugby practice together because my first year was one of his last years with the team. And so we would always practice kicking together and watching him kick a ball. Even then when he, you know, switched over to football, I was like, man, this is insane. We were going to that uh, um, indoor training facility, the IPF down there, and he'd be kicking footballs and they'd be hitting the roof, like, continuously. And I'm like, well, yep, no, I think I'm going to leave. I, I love Johnny. He wouldn't have gone 18 of 19 uh, kicking M MLR. So it's a wash. It's a wash. Okay, let's lay the groundwork for what's going on with rugby in the U.S. So Major League Rugby is in its fourth year. The Utah Warriors are one of the original seven teams. This is a great place for rugby. And we've seen, you know, 3,000-plus at home games this year. It's been awesome. 
How is the league growing? How is the game growing in the United States? Man, it's it's been fun to watch, really. You know, it's it's kind of a lot of people compare it to the beginning years of the MLS. Um, so obviously, us as players, we're kind of those pioneers, right? And so we understand that the work that we put in now will pay dividends in years to come. However, with the youth that are coming through, you know, the development academies, that kind of stuff, right? Really, really good play especially within the U.S. I know the league wants to grow to a few more teams and actually have like a real East and West conference, you know, to set up something, you know, eventually with the playoffs, you know, quarterfinals, semifinals, that kind of stuff. So it's in a really good place now for us to kind of keep growing. Calvin, it's great to catch up with you, man. Uh, we're so thrilled for your success with the Utah Warriors. Can't wait to watch what the season holds for you. And uh, let's not wait five years before we talk again. Seriously, though. Thanks for having me.